Sadly, many crimes can be left unsolved for years or even decades and the culprits are never brought to justice. Today, we'll be delving into five unsolved cases that initially left detectives baffled for years. However, the following crimes have been unexpectedly solved in recent years. You may have even seen these unsolved mysteries on the news in the past and not realised that they have been solved. From disappearances, suicides, kidnappings to murder, these are five unsolved mysteries that have finally been solved. Number 5. Laurie Ruff In 2004, a man named Blake Ruff married the love of his life to a woman named Laurie Kennedy. Laurie was often seen as a secretive woman who refused to speak of her past. The couple later had a child. However, Laurie's behaviour put a strain in their marriage as she would not let her in-laws have contact with their child. This behaviour eventually led to them divorcing. Unfortunately, in 2010, Laurie committed suicide, leaving her family a mysterious box that would reveal Laurie's true past. It was learned that she'd been living under a fake identity. Laurie Kennedy's name was stolen from a young woman who had died in a fire in 1988. It was soon realized that Laurie Ruff was an identity thief. However, her true origins remained a mystery until 2016. This unsolved mystery would be solved after genetic genealogist Colin Fitzpatrick signed up to help solve the case, leading police to the Cassidy family who had a daughter named Kimberly McLean. Kimberly ran away from home in 1986 after her parents divorced. After police brought Laurie's picture to a family member, her mother cried out, my God, that's Kimberly. A DNA match confirmed that Kimberly McLean was Laurie Ruff. Number four, Diane Jackson. In 1969, Diane Jackson was abducted in the parking lot of her place of work and was raped, strangled and stabbed to death. She was discovered in a nearby shack when police found a fingerprint. However, they had nothing to compare it to. In 1989, 20 years later, the victim's brother David, now a police officer, decided to look into his sister's case. With more advanced technology, they were able to run the latent print from the crime scene through a database system. However, still no match was found. It wasn't until another 14 years later in 2003, FBI database technician Jill Kincaid got a hit. The computer searched through 70 million prints on file where in just five hours it narrowed it down to 20 potential matches. One of these matches were of a man named James Ray Davis. After questioning the man, it was found that he had been released from prison just days prior to Jackson's murder. Over three decades after the death of his sister on November 24, 2003, Diane Jackson's killer confessed to the crime and is now spending the rest of his days behind bars. On Halloween in 2014, Chelsea Brack attended the last party of her life. Dressing as Poison Ivy, she went home at around 3am with a mysterious man. No one at the party knew this man's name and Chelsea never returned home. Shockingly, just three weeks after her disappearance, her body was discovered in an empty field. It took two years for the police to even find suspects, and on July 2016, a man by the name of Daniel Clay was arrested with his girlfriend and confessed to the crime. Even though no details have been released to the public, Clay was charged with second-degree murder and the concealment of a body. Number 2. Martha Lambert 12-year-old Martha Jean Lambert went missing near a home in St. Augustine, Florida on November 27, 1985. The St. John's County Sheriff's Department were left clueless with no body or viable suspects. The case would be shrouded in mystery for the next 25 years. It wasn't until Detectives Sean M. Tice and Howard Skip Cole III took one last go on the cold case. They decided to canvas Martha's old neighbourhood speak to her friends and relatives when they decided to take a closer look at the missing girl's brother David, who was two years older than his sister. Now in his late 30s, detectives interviewed David, placing a picture of the young girl on the interview room table as bait. After 20 hours of relentless questioning, the shocking truth was finally revealed. On the night of the disappearance, Martha and her brother went to play at the abandoned Florida Memorial College, which was filled with scrap metal. He states he gave his sister money to go to the store. When Martha asked him for more, 
he declined. Angry at her brother, 12-year-old Martha hit him. In retaliation, David pushed his sister. She fell backwards, landing on a protruding metal spike, which impaled her skull. Scared, David buried the body in the shallow grave and kept the secret for over two decades. David was never charged due to the statute of limitations and other mitigating factors. Martha's body was never found due to construction in the area. Number 1. Carolyn Nixon On the night of June the 22nd, 1987, 16-year-old Carolyn Nixon left her home to run an errand for her dad at around 9.30pm. However, she did not return home and disappeared within just 700 feet of her home. A massive search began the following day with authorities believing she had been abducted by a stranger or ran away. She was very close to her family, which suggested she hadn't disappeared on her own accord. However, her friends claimed she wanted to leave to California or Florida. Three months after placing missing person posters around the neighborhood, a Utahville resident came forward claiming to have seen her. However, this turned out to be false along with several other sightings. In March 1991, Carrie's parents viewed a music video by New Kids on the Block and noticed a girl in the audience that looked just like her. Members of the band even spoke out to the girl in their video and asked her to come forward. However, this would also turn out false as a teenager was not their daughter. Almost seven years after Carrie vanished, her body was unearthed in a shallow grave a few miles from her home. It was discovered that Carrie had been kidnapped at gunpoint by a man named Robert Anthony Jones, who had been arrested for numerous bank robberies whom he had carried out with his wife, who drove the getaway car. Jones confessed to the murder to try and get his wife a lighter sentence, and is now serving a life sentence at Sing Sing Prison.